Professions suffer pious predecessors. Professions suffer pious predecessors. Professions suffer pious predecessors. Professions suffer pious predecessors. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Anbiya wal Mursaleen. Amma ba'd, fa'a'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah. Salatu wa salamu alayka ya Habibullah. Salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabiyallah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurullah. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, welcome back to another episode of our series. Professions of Pious Predecessors, Rahimahumullah Ta'ala. Let's start our episode by listening to an excellence of reciting Durood upon the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wasallam. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wasallam has stated, Whoever recites Salat upon me one time, Allah Azza wa Jal sends ten mercies upon him. And whoever recites Salat upon me ten times, Allah Azza wa Jal sends hundred blessings upon him and whoever recites Salat upon me hundred times Allah Azza wa Jal will write between both his eyes that he is free from hypocrisy and the hellfire and Allah Azza wa Jal will keep him with the martyrs on the day of judgment Subhanallah Azza wa Jal Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Dear viewers of Madani channel before listening to this episode, let's make some good intentions. Firstly, make the intention that you will listen to this episode to gain the pleasure of Allah Almighty. Whatever you hear in this episode, you try to apply it in your real life and you'll also share it. Whenever you hear Sallu al Habib, you will recite Durood upon the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wasallam. And also make the intention that you will listen to this episode till the very end, Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. Sallu al Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Our topic for today is Sayyidina Ali's source of earning Karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al-kareem Let's listen to a short introduction of Sayyidina Ali Karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al-kareem First The glory and elegance of the fourth Khalifa of Islam The dominator of all saints Abu al-Hasan the Sayyidina Ali al-Murtaza Karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al-kareem is very high. His bounties and excellences are countless. He got an honor to marry the beloved daughter of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Hata Sayyidina Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha. He is one of those who were given the good news of entering Jannah. The love of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam for him was very high. His name is Ali and his father's name is Abu Talib and his mother's name is Fatma binti Asad. The kunya of Ali was Abu Hassan after his oldest son Al Hassan who was one of the children of his wife Fatma radiallahu ta'ala anha the daughter of the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wa sallam. Hadi Ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al kareem was also known as Abu Turab, which was given to him by the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Wasallam and he Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu was always happy to be addressed by it. He is the cousin and son-in-law in relationships with the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Wasallam. Hati Ali Karamallahu Ta'ala Wajahul Kareem was born 30 years after the birth of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Wasallam so that he is 30 years younger than the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. He was grown up under the guardianship of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. Hadi Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Wajhahu Al Kareem remained in the company of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam from his childhood. Due to this reason, he is the best example of the noble character of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. This was the greatest blessing that Allah Azza wa Jal bestowed upon Hazrat Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Wajhahu Al Kareem that he was raised and educated by the one who was guided by Allah Azza wa Jal. Hazrat Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Wajhahu Al Kareem was the first child who believed in Islam 
Thus, he was the first child to become a Muslim. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. On the occasion of migration from Mecca to Medina, Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam ordered Sayyidina Ali Karamallahu Ta'ala Wajhaul Kareem to sleep on his Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Wasallam's bed and migrate to Medina after returning the entrusted item to their owners. There was a great impact of the Holy Quran upon him. The verses that Sayyidina Ali Karamallahu Ta'ala Wajhaul Kareem heard from the Messenger of Allah Azza wa Jal had an impact on the formation of his character. They purified his heart and soul and illuminated his mind and his soul interacted with them. Amir al muminin Sayyidina Ali Karamallahu Ta'ala Wajhaul Kareem lived his life with the Quran, reading it, memorizing it, understanding it and acting upon it. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. He radiallahu ta'ala and who benefited from the commentary of the Messenger of Allah Azza wa and he conveyed what he learned from the Messenger of Allah Azza wa to the people. He radiallahu ta'ala and who used to ask from the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam whatever he did not understand from the Noble Quran. Hadith Ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem was very keen to memorize, understand and ponder over the Holy Quran. There was great love between the Messenger of Allah Azza wa Jal and Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Wajhaul Kareem. Hadi Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Wajhaul Kareem was one of those who gave bath to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alihi wa Sallam along with two other companions. Hadi Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Wajhaul Kareem said, I washed the Messenger of Allah Azza wa Jal and I checked to see what is usually seen in one who is deceased. But I did not see anything. He looked good in life and good after death. He said, may my father be sacrificed for the good, meaning the Prophet, how good you look in this life and in demise. Hati Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Wajhaul Kareem was amongst those who went down into the grave of the Messenger of Allah Azza wa Jal and buried him along with other companions. Hati Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Wajhaul Kareem was a sincere advisor to Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu. The life of Hazrat Sayyidina Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Wajhahul Kareem was a fountain of knowledge and wisdom. He had a strong will in matters of Allah Azza wa Jal and in the support of Islam. He talked in a decisive manner and resolved the issues with great justice. He was not interested in the worldliness. His heart was full of the fear of Allah Almighty and had been very tearful. He used to hold his nafs accountable the story of the fourth Khalifa of Islam, Hadith Sayyidina Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Wajhaul Kareem tells us that he would like to wear rough and thick clothes and would eat thick bread. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu had a majestic personality that people felt reluctant to talk to him. But whenever anyone visited him, he would always come forward and meet him warmly. Subhanallah Azza wa Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wa sallam. Now moving towards the main topic which is Sayyidina Ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem and his source of earning. The fourth Khalifa of Islam, Sayyidina Ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem used to work on wages in order to earn his livelihood. Sayyidina Mujahid rahmatullahi ta'ala states that one day Sayyidina Ali al-Murtaza karramallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem came to us wearing an imama, a turban. He radiallahu ta'ala and who said to us, Once in Madinatul Munawwara, I felt extremely hungry. Hence, I went to the surroundings of Medina in order to search for work. Over there, I saw a woman who had gathered a pile of soil which she wanted to soak with water. One date in return for every bucket of water was set as my wage and I drew 16 buckets of water from a well. As a result, I had blisters on my hand. I washed my hands and came to the woman and said, this is sufficient for me. Upon this, the woman counted 16 dates and gave them to me. Taking them, I came to the blessed court of the Holy Rasul وسلم, and mentioned what had just happened. Then we ate those dates together. He sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam spoke well of me and supplicated for me. 
سبحان الله عز وجل سبحان الله عز وجل صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله تعالى عليه واله وسلم dear viewers of my channel we are listening to the source of earning of the fourth khalifa of islam as i said ali al murtaza karam allah tعالی وجهه الكريم let's continue with another parable sayyidina ali al murtaza karam allah tعالی وجهه الكريم states once i went to a garden the owner of the garden said irrigate my garden and i will give you one date in return for each bucket of water i drew a few buckets of water from a well and i received some dates my palm was filled with dates then i drank some water and came to the blessed court of the holy rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam along with those dates and we ate them together subhanallah azza wa jalla you was a madani channel these events contain a uh, a lesson for those who despite being fit and healthy do not do any work let alone labor that is physical work they even consider doing small business to be a means of shame and disgrace whereas in order to earn halal sustenance our rightest pious predecessors would not consider even smallest jobs to be bad these people should follow our pious predecessors Now this is the fourth Khalifa of Islam, Sayyidina Ali al-Murtaza, Karram Allah Ta'ala, Wajah al-Kareem, that we're talking about. The people who think small jobs to be bad, if they make some effort, they can earn and provide from themselves as well as for their households. But they seem to have developed the mindset that they cannot do any job or small business. Despite being capable of earning a living to fulfill their needs, they are habitual of eating for free, and now we will be begging remember begging as a source of income as a source of earning of living is haram and an action that leads towards hell the one who begs without shari permission seeks the fire of hell for himself the more he accumulates wealth in this manner the more he will become deserving of the fire of hell to go with allah astaghfir allah صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم dear viewers of Madani channel bringing this episode towards its conclusion we make dua in the court of Allah عز وجل that may Allah Almighty protect us from begging from others and enable us to strive for halal sustenance Ameen بجاه النبي الأمين صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم keep watching Madani channel inshaAllah عز وجل We'll be back with another episode. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Profession suffer pious predecessors. Profession suffer pious predecessors. Profession suffer pious predecessors. Profession suffer pious predecessors.